In the previous video, I pulled apart this mini Canon printer and found it contained lots of wonderful fun things. Today I'm going to use the threaded insert that is in the base of the printer and make a project. This is Azel's TV. Let's make something. So here's a problem. If I have something like a cell phone and I want to add it to a tripod, I'll just use something like this to grab hold of it and hold it in place like that and the tripod threads in there and it's a wonderful. You can get big ones for tablets as well, which is great. But the tablet I have has this big bit on the bottom there, which is where the, the, um, the battery goes. So you can't mount it in one of those because it's, it's just not enough meat to hold. It's probably just about enough, but it's not really stable. So I'm going to mount something for this to sit on top of and hold it down like that which is screw on a tripod. Now the first thing I need to do for this is make some sort of base to mount it on. And what that base needs is some sort of catch to stop this from falling forward and just generally hold it in place. So I thought, well, I've got this little ridge here, if you can see that. So I'm gonna put a bit of wood like there, that's, and it's level with this little bump here. And another bit of wood over the top of that, so it's, like that and that stops this from pulling forward and I'll have a another piece of wood here so I'll have that there something similar to that I'll have this over here going the whole length of this and that on top and it holds this whole thing in place and it can just lift out like that so let's get making the base and then see what kind of measurements we need That's the base cutout. And we need to add some cutouts to here and the back part because putting this on here, this wood is in the way of this camera. So if I want to flip this camera around to point to the floor or behind or wherever, I'll have to cut out a notch out here. So that's going to be the next job. And then I'm going to cut out what well, parts of this profile here and the side here to make it a bit more compact. This is what I have so far, I've put glued that in place, I've sanded all of it, sort of, and it's all a bit more smooth. Rounded off this corner here, and I've marked where I'm going to round off these corners, and these two here. What I need to do, I've marked a centre line for the, the threaded insert, I'm just going to go around somewhere around up here, but so it's properly balanced, I'm going to work out where it's, it, it sits best when I have this tablet on it, because it's not... I mean, the weight isn't distributed, for example, right over here, but it's more toward that side because you've got the big battery here. So I'm going to put this flat, this, this roundish rod like that for this to topple on. Put that on there. And then sort of move it back and forth and work out where it starts to balance. Probably about there. So that's uh, pretty accurately placed position for the threaded insert. So a bit better balanced than if it was here or even over here, for example, or even here, you know. Superb. Now to build the catch to go here to hold everything in place. So I can actually start to test it and then add bits and pieces. So that'll go like that. That'll go over there and it'll... Brilliant. 
Onwards. I've built up the catch on the back here and these sides stop the tablet from moving back and forth. Next job is to add the insert at the point of marks here. So I go about there, so I need to drill that out. What I'm going to try and do though is a trick I've seen a couple of YouTubers do and that's to just place it where, where it needs to be and just hammer it in place and sometimes that works. So I'm going to give that a try. First time for everything, right? Okay. I think this is, oh, this is really dodgy. Just. No. Made a bit of a mark. Hmm. Let's try a bigger hammer. Hmm. Well, damn. That. It. Wait, it. It works? Let me just. Seriously? Jeez. Well, there you go, kids. That's something I don't teach you in school. How about that? Boyd with the success of my technique with the hammer, which has worked really well. Look at that. I'll give an entire thing a coating of spray lacquer, some enamel spray varnish. Makes it very shiny. So I think that is that done. I think in the future what I'll do, because this clips in super easily now, and just like that, I can mount it on the tripod and it will hang down like this. But it'll also, I can fold it up and it will hang like that. So I'm thinking I could use it in some sort of brackets project for the bedroom for watching films and videos and whatnot in bed. So that might be a future project, because it can just screw into here. Where are we? Into there. So look out for that in future. I think that is done. Fantastic. So that was my tripod mountable tablet stand. If you like that, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe for more content. I put out a new video every Tuesday. Stay tuned, share it on social media, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.